Please like if you find this video helpful. Planning, decision making and control are the main functions of management. Planning is the detailed formulation of activity to achieve defined goals. Management look at what has happened in the past in order to make decisions for the future. For example, management will look at past sales records in order to plan production levels for future sales. Planning is concerned with where an organisation wants to be and how it will get there. Management plan by establishing short-term and long-term objectives and formulate strategies to achieve those objectives. Short-term planning is known as tactical planning, while long-term planning is known as strategic planning. Decision-making is the process of choosing the best solution among many alternatives. This managerial function is a collaboration between planning and control. The quality of decisions can be improved if all alternative information can be collected and presented to management. One of the important roles of the accounting information system is to supply the information to simplify this decision-making process. Control is a managerial activity concerned with monitoring the performance of an organisation against its planned objectives to ascertain how well the objectives are being achieved and to suggest corrective action if needs be. After a plan is made, the plan should be implemented. Management need to monitor this implementation to ensure that the plan works as expected. This is done through the comparison of actual and planned results. Internally sourced information produced largely for control purposes is called feedback. Here is a feedback loop to illustrate the planning, decision making and control process. Feedback is often used to evaluate and set corrective actions to a plan. Based on the feedback, management can decide to keep the original plan and let it work, take corrective action or formulate a new plan. This feedback can be in the form of financial or performance reports. Here management make a plan of action and decide how to implement turning inputs such as labour, money, materials, equipment and so forth into outputs. Outputs are then measured against management's original plan or budget. And if required, corrective action is taken. Feedback can also be used to revise plans or prepare a plan for the next period. Mission Statement This is the general broad aim of an organisation. It's an organisation's purpose, strategy, position, values, culture and ethics. Mission statements are set by senior level management and should be succinct, memorable, enduring, a guide to employees and address to stakeholders. Succinct. Mission statements tend to be qualitative in nature and expressed in a few words. Memorable. Mission statements should be worth remembering. Enduring. By this we mean the mission statement should not change unless the organisation's mission changes. A guide to employees to work towards. And it should also be addressed to a number of stakeholders. The advantages of a mission statement is that it provides direction for an organisation, assisting in the formulation of acceptable strategies. It can be used to resolve conflicts among different stakeholder groups and as a framework for decision making, in that the mission statement can be used to assess the suitability of any proposed plans. It can be used to guide and communicate the organisation's culture to stakeholders and it can help prevent potential misunderstandings of organisations reason for being. 
The disadvantages of a mission statement is that it can be vague and unclear. It may be unrealistic and therefore valueless. It may be inconsistent and conflict with the organization's objective set. And it may have very little external focus, possibly seen as simply used for PR purposes only. Mission statements are set by senior management. They are the high level values of the organization. An organization's purpose, strategies, position, values, culture, and ethics. They tend to be non-quantitative statements in that they do not reference money or quantities. So how does an organization know if they are achieving the mission? This is where organizations use strategic plans and objectives. When reviewing performance of an organization, the management accountant should always keep the overall mission of the organization in mind. How is the performance of the organization with regards to its mission? Are the measurements used in reviewing the performance of the organization suitable to assess the achievement of the organization's mission? Planning levels. There are three levels of planning, strategic, tactical and operational. Strategic planning is an organization's objectives and strategies. Objectives is where an organization wants to be and strategies is how an organization intends to get there. Strategic planning is done at board level. It is long-term planning which considers the whole of the organization, matching an organization's activities to the external environment, identifying future requirements and matching that to resources and capabilities. With strategic plans, there is a high degree of uncertainty. Organizations should have controls in place to monitor strategies, to see how well objectives are being met, and to recommend corrective action if required. Tactical planning is more specific planning, done at middle management level. Tactical planning is medium term planning. It's concerned with the management and use of existing assets resources and capabilities. Tactical plans need to be aligned to strategic plans. Operational plans are the day-to-day -day plans for the running of the company, given the existing strategic direction. Operational plans are carried out by junior management. They do not tend to change an organization's strategy. Instead, operational planning is detailed short-term planning, which is unlikely to involve major elements of uncertainty. As you saw before, objectives is where an organization wants to be and strategies is how an organization intends to get there. There are three levels to strategy, corporate, business and operational. Corporate strategy is concerned with the whole of the organization. Business strategy is how to approach a particular market. An operational strategy is strategy that is specific to each department.